Hey guys, what's going on? Chris Derrick here with another Sabres game reaction. The Sabres win on RJ Knight 4-3 over the Nashville Predators. And I'll be dead honest with you guys, from a sold out atmosphere of 19,000 fans at the arena to the speech of Rick Jenneret and all the appreciation that he got from all the people that were there to represent him, from the members of the Ted Darling family to the Pagulas, to the alumni, you know, they did it right. They did it absolutely right for Rick Jenneret. But the game gets underway. The crowd is loud as it's loud, ever been in a while, in a long time. And Peyton Krebs opens it up with his seventh of the year. Buffalo getting the first nod in the game. one nothing Buffalo. And not even two minutes after Peyton Krebs' goal, Philip Forsberg ends up tying the game at one. But the fun just get started because here comes the best part. Tage Thompson gets back-to-back -back goal scoring his 29th and his 30th of the season. Career high, pretty much it's been a career high for Tage Thompson and Donnie Meatballs, Don Granado, thank you for basically bringing out the potential of this guy and it's been fun to watch Tage Thompson this year. But things got a little you know, iffy towards the end of the first period, you know, Jeremy Lazan and McCrarran, and they just end up tying the game on some funny bounces in front of the net, you know, and I felt like Craig Anderson wasn't at the top of his game in the first period, but he definitely showed up for the second and the third period. And last but not least, Victor Olofsson getting a ripper on the power play in the second period, and... It, it, that was pretty much the last goal of this game, but it was a physical game throughout throughout the entirety of the game and I cannot sum up how fun it was to watch that game even though you know there was no goals in the third period there was only two penalties in the game you know I feel like the refs let a lot of things go again you know and I it's just frustrating to see you know especially when your opposing team gets away with so much horror movie like murder you know and there's you know there's no being law being laid down in these games you know from this game to the Jets game you know and there's been a couple of games where things been let go I know it makes me wonder like what's a trip anymore what's a hooking or what's an interference call anymore what are the refs doing this season but to sum it all up guys the Sabres brought it for RJ Knight they definitely brought their A game they outshot out hit did what better in the face-off circle it was all buffalo in this game you know despite the goals in the first period tied the game and everything and but victor olison with the ripper on the power play i gotta say this was a fun game again and that's what's been happening lately the sabers have been fun to watch you know despite the record and the spark despite the Games that we felt like we should have won, but ended up letting go and letting the teams come back and win it. You know, there wasn't a I this just the Edmonton game, but other than that though, there really hasn't been a boring game to watch with this team. It's been fun. That's what it, I think most of us Sabres fans have been waiting for. It's been fun this year, and I'm just so happy that they definitely brought it for night. 19,000 fans and for Rick Jenneret because that was well deserved. Great atmosphere. It felt like a playoff atmosphere throughout this game. But I've already made a tribute video to him, but Rick Jenneret, your dedication and passion, your love of the game, the fact that you've been here over 50 years doing some of the most amazing play by play announcer, announcing throughout your career, and You've been here for us Buffalo Sabres fans and for the Buffalo Sabres organization, and I feel like we've been blessed and just so much loved and appreciated. And your speech, you know, with the three words, telling us how much you love the fans and how much you love this team. It got me choked up. I was crying. <clears throat> I, I couldn't really gather myself together, you know, to make the video last night. You know, but... <sighs> It was just such well put together, and I hope that we can close out this season the right way for not just for RJ, but for the fans who've been waiting for an atmosphere and a feeling like this. And I gotta say, the tribute videos from his wife to Chris Berman to 
Rob McLean from Hockey Night in Canada, Ryan Miller, Pat LaFontaine with a little bit of a tribute to, for RJ, and Brad May, all these guys from Marty to Duffer, Rob Ray, Jim Lorenz, Harry Neal, everybody showing their respects and their appreciation for Regenerate. And it was so awesome to see Alex Tuck and Cody Egan and help him out under the ice and got a photo with the team with him being in the dead center of it. As you can see at the at the top of the page of this. Um, but there was also a lot of tribute videos to Rich Arrett for some of his funnier moments to some of his highlight reel calls. And Mar I think Marty Biron said it best on the instigators that if you were to watch the Mayday call, turn the volume down first and don't have any sound and just watch the goal. It's pretty epic, but turn that volume up and listen to Rick. It is amplified, and I mentioned that in the trivia video, it is amplified by Rick Jenneret. His calls will always stick in our memories. It is the greatest feeling, and it is the greatest appreciation being a fan of this team for all the years that he's been a part of it. And I'm going to be a fan for this team till the day I'm dead. You know, it sounds a little weird, but I'm a fan till I die. And it's so cool to, you know, that when I go back to the arena, hopefully before this season's over, I get to see for myself that RJ banner. You know, and I was actually at the Saber store not too long ago before the game that, you know, seeing like all the t-shirts, all the memorabilia that they were doing for him. It's such an awesome feeling, guys. And I hope you feel just as elated and so much thankful to have Rick as a part of this organization. And to the Buffalo Sabres team, to name him the first star, not only that, but giving him the player of the game award that you guys give out in the locker room, that Sabre sword, you know, and basically handed it to him. And he's like, oh, when I go back across the border, they asked me, you bring anything back? Oh, just a sword. <laughs> Rick, you got the greatest sense of humor, and you've got the greatest personality ever. And I gotta say, to just listen to you as a kid, to just hearing your voice throughout all these years, it's gonna be missed, but it's always gonna be remembered forever and ever. In closing, guys, I try to figure out what jersey and what look I should have for this video, and I figured, you know, Rick dealing with all the health issues that he had, especially with, th I believe it was throat cancer. And that was around the same time uh, Jim Kelly had cancer in his jaw, and they were both fighting the good fight, fighting tough. I figured, why not the Hockey Fights Cancer jersey that, you know, I recently just got. And this, uh, <laughs> this scarf and this hat here. By the way, the scarf and the hat... All the proceeds go to uh, Roswell Park uh, Cancer C Cancer Center. All the proceeds go back to them. You know, they don't pay me to say that, but it is always appreciated, guys, if you take the time to just donate. And, you know, even though times are tough, it's, you know, to me, it makes you feel good about yourself that you are giving back, you know, as much as you possibly can. And for all those people who still are you know, fighting against cancer, you know, I'm right here with you guys, and I'm hoping that you are f fighting and not giving up, and keep on going, and keep on fighting, but anyways, guys, that, that's it for this one, thank you guys so much for watching this video, hit like if you like it, subscribe to my channel, and it's just a... <laughs> I'm still giddy over the game, guys. It was a great game to watch, and it was um, so good to see that atmosphere again after so long. Take care, guys. Thanks for watching.